The new ITV drama we're both starring in is called The Durrells, and it's based on My Family and Other Animals and the Corfu trilogy by Gerald Durrell. And it's basically just about the Durrells moving to Corfu, settling in, and havoc and mayhem that comes in the meantime. So what are your characters like? Daisy, can you tell me a little bit about Margot? So Margot is a 16-year-old girl who is a very lateral thinker. She's very open-hearted, falls in love very easily, um, and is trying to figure herself out, really. She's at the beginning of the stage in her life where she's trying to figure out who she is and becoming a woman. That's basically Margot. And Josh, can you tell us about Larry? Yeah, so Larry is a sort of debauched um, writer, uh, and he, uh, it's his idea to go to Corfu because he's got some mates there. So in his mind, it's a good idea to get friends to drink with and write with. Yeah. <laughs> How is it having Keely Hawes as your mother? Keely was sensational and wonderful and so much fun. And we had the best time with her. And she's just such a talented woman. She's amazing. She is, she's like our real life She is mom. our mother. Although we do she have real mums. We do have real mums, but we have a second, which is Keely. Keely is our second mum. She's our second mother. Did your real mums meet your screen mum? Yes. How yes. did that go? My mum's very jealous of Keely, but she'll get over it. <laughs> My mum did this thing where she, when I got the job, asked to do this series, she called me up and pretended to be my agent, saying, we've cast your real mum as your mum in the Durrells. Unfortunately, I already knew Keely was playing my <laughs> mum, so that was a lie. How did you get on with the animals while filming? Um, we loved the animals. So Milo, was, Milo was the one who worked mostly with the animals, but we, the animals were great fun to have around and, you know, very cute. We had so many puppies, we had donkeys, we had everything. Anything you weren't particularly keen on? Snakes. Mm -hmm. There was one snake I didn't like very much but I didn't have to see it very often. Okay. The pelican's quite yeah, The pelican. Well, I nearly got attacked by the pelican. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> in the end, but I very nearly did. So you had to, what, run I away had, from I it? Had, no, well, I was in a cage, so, and I was standing next to the cage, so I didn't really nearly get attacked, but if, it, if I was in the cage with it... So they're quite violent. <laughs> Just sort of big. They're, they're you're big, surprisingly yeah. big. And about the same size as Milo. Yeah. Poor Milo. Haven't Milo was so great with every, all of them, though. He's such a professional. What were your, um, I don't know, I suppose there's lots of pinch me moments, but were there any particular highlights of filming for you both? I think just being with everybody all the time and every day was just so much fun and we all just kind of fell in love with each other and it became like a heart and soul project and we fell in love with our characters, fell in love with the story, we fell in love with the crew, we just fell in love with our surroundings and it, I think just being with everyone all the time and getting to do, play these roles every day, mm. that was the best part. What about yeah, yourself? Yeah, same for me, I mean it was, we, as we were saying earlier, we got on very, very well very quickly yeah. and so being on Corfu as well, just an amazing place to be and so actually the days of filming were so much fun, we had these incredible places, locations, and then just going back every night and eating incredible food yeah. all the time, all and the then time. swimming and Greek cocktails, uh, strawberry daiquiris. Strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really nice. We used to, we used to go every um, at night after um, filming, not every day, but sometimes we'd go um, um, swimming in the sea, and there's this, yeah. we'd sit on this little banana boat in the night in the moonlight and just kind of. Yeah. It sounds amazing. It could be like a spin-off series. Yeah, <laughs> us on the banana boat, and I really miss that <laughs> banana boat.